Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Kronos Blindly Plays Ultra Despair Girls Danganronpa, another episode. So yeah, this is the next uh, game in the uh, Danganronpa series, at least. Uh, I believe there's no more than the four of them, right? There's Danganronpa 1, 2, this one, and then V3, I think it is? But yeah, it's, uh, it's a different, it's a different game compared to the other ones where the other ones are like visual novels, well, are visual novels. This one, from what I can tell, is like a shooter. And apparently my controller is working, but I wasn't in the right screen. That was extremely loud. Uh, there's no config. Okay, there was a config window when I uh, launched the game. So, I was kind of hoping there would be like a voice slider, but I guess not. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and start a new game. What's that say? Yasus the culprit? Yasus? I have no idea. New game. Uh, working hard for a normal girl. <laughs> genocide, super ultra pump, genocide jack mode. For those who want to enjoy the story. Despair mode, ultra despair mode. I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, Komaro mode, which is I guess the normal mode. I order you to choose the difficulty level. Is that a fart cloud? Oh wait, go back, go back, go back, go back. What the hell is that? Voice. Oh, we'll just keep it in English. Uh, sure, start. First, let's set up your camera. With the auto camera, you automatically follow the character you're controlling. With the manual camera, you control the camera with the right stick. This can be changed in options later, so choose the one you like for now. Um... I guess I prefer manual. To be honest, I don't really care, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you telling me the earth is round? I've heard. The world is round. <laughs> but is that really true? <laughs> it might have the shape of rock candy. What? Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. My grandma's never done that. But I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the earth. So there's no subtitles? In way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge and what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well... Not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the earth or common knowledge. Well, you should worry about common knowledge. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. This is my world. This two-bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. Uh, game? Game? My life Thank you. doesn't extend beyond these walls. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. Yes, you are. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. My name is Komaru Naegi. Oh. I'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life. So, related to Makoto? I mean, obviously, right? What's with the no subtitles, though? All right! Let me out! Let me out of here! <laughs> hey! Jeez, you Ever since my imprisoned life began, this pointless defiance became my morning routine. But it was only at the beginning that I was seriously crying and yelling. <laughs> it's been a year and a half since my imprisoned life oh, that sounds awful. Can you believe it? A year and a half! So long that I've become completely used to this life. Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome. It's frightening how well humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. Why would... But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. 
I just... Wait, why are you wearing a school uniform every morning? Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Well, at least you get room service. But anyway, about this whole imprisonment. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Yo, that looks good. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style this morning. <laughs> Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. That's weird. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. They don't give you food to keep in your fridge? how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? I mean, you had a, story like a console, right? Even began. That's pretty cool. It's not like I still have hope. It's like my something life. sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs> Uh, it seems like someone's trying to open the door. Could it be? Did someone come to rescue me? <laughs> Please, save me! I'm trapped in here! I'm begging you! Please, save me! <laughs> so much for being used to it, right? I don't want to live this life anymore! <laughs> don't judge me. Please open the door! <laughs> oh Back up! Pretty big Monokuma. <laughs> oh, okay, we're in game. Oh, we're in game. Okay. <laughs> Wolverine. It is Wolverine. Holy crap. Boss time? Get away from me. I can keep this all up all day, dog. Oh, that's a pause me. Let's go to systems real fast. We can't actually Oh, yeah, yes we can. Options. Oh, baby. Okay. Well, that was already up all the way. Where the hell is the why no? Why no subtitles? No, hold up. Why no subtitles? Are you kidding me? There's no subtitles? There has to be subtitles. People, I. Little sister to the ultimate hope, okay. Doesn't have any special talents. Has been imprisoned in Toa City apartment for a year and a half. Dislikes lightning and rainy seasons. I thought that said listening for a second. Likes girl manga. And whatever's trending. Oh, lovely. You're one of those people. At the same time, what the hell's girls manga? That... That Dragon Ball Z? Seriously, no subtitles, though? Really? Okay. Let's turn that down, like, two, two. Maybe that one up once. I want the voices to overshadow everything else. Yeah, nope, nope. Can't touch this. Do I have to run like over here? Goodbye. Where's the elevator? Oh, run. Why is everything on fire? <laughs> oh shit. Was, a, a bear? A black was I not supposed bear? to come this way? Oh, he's slow. What should I do? You should, should run! Do? You sound familiar. Knock knock? No. Someone help me! Well, there is kind of subtitles down there, but like during cutscenes, anime cutscenes, maybe that was the only anime cutscene. I don't know. 
Check the other apartments, like see if they're unlocked, or is anyone else in there? Oh, God, it's you! You must be. Komaru Nayagi. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Hi, dickhead. Uh, um. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. That's kind of shocking. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Woo. Huh? Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Future Foundation? Who kidnapped her, though? It would appear that intel was correct. However... It could have been Monokuma, though, right? Because they was just what trying to kill her? This? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. A riot? <laughs> Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Oh, maybe. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? So you don't Are you even Risei? know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. Dude, she's been trapped in an apartment for a year and a half. He was just like that the first time I met him. Wait, no he wasn't. He was... I mean, yeah, he was a killing machine, sure, but he wasn't that big. And he was mostly jovial until he started murdering everyone. Like, in a dark sort of way. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I oh, wait, are you talking about Makoto? But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Wow, you guys suck. Yeah, shoot. Wow. Yaki bitch, why'd you bring the weakest of the group? Do you really have an option other than run? It's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. Cool. It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. Yeah, no kill. Oh, that was a test. <laughs> Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. Run, but where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> so not everyone else had a gun like that? They're just in the way here. I mean, yeah, probably, but at the same time... Like even bullets wouldn't work against these guys? No, just go. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll find something better. I'm really surprised by the lack of subtitles. There it is! Oh my god. Uh, looks like death. You should go. Help! Someone help me! 
Pig boy. Wait, really? Welcome. A table for one? Are you guys deaf? Huh? The bear attack. A bear? Bears! Bears everywhere! Miss, now please. Oh, the military! Paramedics! Hurry! If we don't hurry! Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Good. All right, fine. Please, uh, just be quiet, me, okay? Can I have what she's having? Relax and stay calm. <sighs> Hungry. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is... You all really didn't hear that outside? You guys are idiots. Yeah, that, that's about right. I mean, to be fair, they kind of deserve it. Pick up the gun. Or the megaphone. Toa is probably going to be very depressed about this. She's generally a sweet girl. At least that one was fighting back. What are you doing? No. What was that? That wasn't what I think it was, was it? That's extremely messed up if that was what I was thinking it was. Fight! Yeah, fight! <laughs> Pull the trigger until it goes click. It's time for a tutorial! If you press the LT button, you're you ready the hacking gun. The right stick focuses the reticule. If you press the RT button with the gun out, you will fire the truth bullet. Uh, press the X button to open up the Truth Bullet selection screen. You can switch Truth Bullets with the directional pad. You can also switch Truth Bullets outside the menu with the directional pad. Uh, try using all the multicolored Truth Bullets against the Monokumas. How about I just go Booya? Do it again. This gun is amazing. I know, Monokuma Fighter. Super fighting robot. Click, click. I'm Boom. We're gonna get out of here. Can I save anyone? They're all dead. They are all dead, you're right. You tried to warn them. Jeez, oh, burn. Let's try burning them. Burn, baby! Oh. oh, God. Oh, God. Run. Look, I thought you would actually be on fire. We don't need no saving. We strong, independent woman who blows the head off all Monokumas. What is this? What is going on? Huh? <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> the TV. Hello? Oh, that's extremely creepy. Hey, Masaru, do zombies really say raw like that? I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know? <laughs> mm, who cares? I told you, style is important for this kind of thing. Are they the bad guys? Yeah? No, I agree. I, I very much agree about that. What are these kids doing with that body? Hey, what are you doing? Be more serious. Didn't I tell you?
tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Jeez, what are you so mad about? Oh, wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Stop that! Don't come over here! What's with your hair? Ah, uh, nothing as pure as a child's laughter. Playing with a dead body. Citizens of Toa City, nice to meet you. We are the Warriors of Hope. I really doubt that. We are the masters of Mr. Monokuma. This town, this dirty, lame, Worthless, pathetic, good-for-nothing town that's nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, all of you adults will no longer be needed. Goodbye. I mean, I'm not really an adult. I'm like a teenager. Well, like in-game, in... -game, in in reality, I'm I'm an old man who's on the cusp of well the end. <laughs> Genocide chill. Uh. Alright, so our bad guys are kids. Seriously though, was that Monokuma uh the one that had that guy bent over the table and he was hopping? Was that what I think it was? Because that's extremely messed up. Maybe he was doing something else. I hope. Then again, I think the guy was already dead. <laughs> I like Toko. Probably more than I probably should, but I do like her. Uh, Kurokama Akuma. I'm probably assuming these are probably going to be like bosses. And the kids are the bad guy. All right. That one's crying. I mean, if I have to fight him, I'll give him a reason to cry. Kind of weirded out by the no subtitles in the anime, or the cutscenes even. Prologue: The Warriors of Hope. Yeah, I don't know about that one. The Warriors Around of Hope. A year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school. Well, yeah. But the school covered it up. So it was too late when the world finally realized. It grew out of control. Becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. Yeah, one second though. I actually have to check your voice actress because you sound so goddamn familiar. Oh, it's Makoto? Hey, Rhea. It's Makoto? Really? From, from Persona 5, Makoto. Wow, I would not have guessed that, actually. I thought for sure it was going to be Rise. Sounded really like Rise a couple of times, but I guess not. Hey, Alexa from Xenoblade Chronicles X. I like that character as well. Huh. Alright, cool. Wait, so you're the sister of Makoto, and you're voiced by Makoto. Just a different Makoto. Wow. It's like it has no connection whatsoever. All right. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. I mean, it kind of was. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder. The violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, oh, driving the revenge. crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out, 
A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. I guess that would be the worst kind of war, right? <laughs> One that's just, hey, let's just have war. Instead of, like, actually trying to obtain something. Though, most wars, they can, for the most part, be viewed as generally bad. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, It's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up Why to break my like, fall. I feel like you guys should have went to like a bunker somewhere. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. Okay, so we, we saw these two pictures in the first Danganronpa. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I mean, to be fair, you have a TV and, like, it looked like a PlayStation or some sort. Like, you get food every day. That's actually pretty good. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl. But instead, I became a complacent prisoner. Better than dying. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. Oh my... Oh, he's eating his head over there. Why is this happening? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have stayed in my room forever. Oh, you wouldn't want that. The bear came in there. said that someone is supposed to be here, right? Well, I can guess who, but I don't see them anywhere. Here. Supposed to be here. Oh. I not what I was expecting. That suit. It's the same as that Biakia guy's. You guys aren't that strong, huh? Are you alright? That's kind of a silly question. Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? How, how did you know? The suit and the glasses, really. I, I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? Go to the park. Head through this door. You want me to go outside? Go straight down the road. How about we barricade the hell out of this place? There should be a future foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go. And Buck is destroyed. But what about you? <laughs> Hurry. You gotta get out of here. I mean, I could fight those things. Or not, I can just leave you to die. Goodbye. I'm so sorry. This is a good guy. Alright. Actually, you know what? Keep speaking. Town is in ruins. Yes. Sure. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you have my videos so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.